Of course, I made a huge mess before I started recording. Oops. Christmas, is, Christmas is a busy time for toys and stuff. I love Wednesday, though, with there's no, there's no preset rules. I guess that says a lot about what I should do on YouTube and how I should conduct my life in general. It, there's too much pressure with a day. And vlogs aren't something that YouTube people don't like to watch vlogs anymore. Very strange. Do I like to watch vlogs? Do I watch any vlogs? Not really. I listen to podcasts. I do like things that I can listen to opposed to watch. So maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should do a sit-down podcast where I just talk most of the time. I mean, I, I don't show anything. There's nothing to look. I guess I do show stuff. There's nothing to look at, though. There really isn't. I want to... I got to exercise today. The One of the podcasts that I watch and listen to is coming on early. So I don't, I don't know if this video is only going to be like 15 minutes. Maybe I should probably not watch the stupid fucking... Oh, I swore. I probably shouldn't watch the... Uh, the crap that I watch on YouTube. There's stuff. Uh, I think some of you don't know what hate watching is, and that's where you watch something that you don't really like, but I guess you enjoy not liking it. It's not really what I do. I would never really do that. Like, I don't watch reality TV shows or anything. They just don't interest me. They're boring. So weird. Oh, because they're not real. I like authenticity. On YouTube, you stumble upon real people. However, not everyone's real. A lot of people... Oh, that's one of my favorite family vloggers have stopped vlogging. It's sad, because I enjoyed watching them every day. Well, sometimes I would go by weeks without watching them, but then I'd do a marathon to catch up. Stuff like that. Oh, which one? I wanted to take down this one because it was in my way. My feeling, it's pretty fat. I kept bumping my head on it. So, I think the answer is to take this one away. Let's, let's just, let's just do things. I made my bed today, at least. I mean, I pretty much make my bed every day. I like it so much. Oh, I don't have pants on. Um, Let's add this to the the garland. Look at my Don't look at my bum. Stop looking at my bum. And then we're still over here. There's no place for me to put my clothespin now. It's so heavy. This one's big. Uh this is dangerous. This could turn the video off if it falls or oh, something. Careful, careful, careful. I lost one video on this computer and I think what happened was I closed it while it was processing. The It takes a, a couple seconds to process the video, especially if it's a long video. So I think I, I do have confidence that I can make an over an hour video straight live. There's no hat in here, which I'm surprised. I thought this was definitely going to be a hat. Kind of happy about getting more figs. I'm, if I run out, if I get all the figs and, and eat them all before before my Christmas platter, I'll just buy some more figs. And then we're getting. This is the third mini in a row. Can we can we split up the boy and, and girl toys? I'm doing this out of the order that I normally do it in. I opened up and I did it two toy videos today too, and I think I'm going to do two toy videos for the rest of uh, the holidays. I also sold. That's something I have to do. I have to exercise to left, which I want to do in the morning. I did get up a little bit earlier because I went to bed a little earlier. It was still into the early hours of the morning, but I. Yeah, and I and I did get up at the same time. I still get up around 10 o'clock every day because that's when the noise happens. Another mini. Really cute. Oh, jeez. 
from the mini collection. They're made really well. I definitely recommend if you are an adult with kids, go to the Dollar Tree and buy the brand name toys. Not sometimes you can find. Sometimes you can find generic bad crap toys made in China, horrible plastic stuff. Well, sometimes they don't have horrible. Sometimes they're pretty nice. Don't buy the doll clothes or anything. But sometimes you can get good stuff. But this is a brand name toy. You can get Hot Wheels. You can buy good quality stuff that will last forever. Which also isn't a good thing. Anyway, the paint detail on this, it's just, it's like, it's like collecting the Smurfs. Did you collect Smurfs when you were younger? I kind of look like a Smurf. So that makes me happy. And then we get to talk about spice. Oh, rosemary is a perfect one. I will be making roasted vegetables. Will I be making roasted vegetables today? I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I have a, like four potatoes and there wasn't uh, any good potatoes. So I was supposed to go to the store which I can't do it now, and get uh, some carrots, maybe some parsnips, I could cut a bag of onions. I love to roast an onion and eat that, and then sprinkle this stuff all over it, and maybe, maybe heat up some canned meat on it. Even though I'm, these are these are vegan mussels. Don't eat meat, especially canned meat, because there's nitrates and stuff in it most of the time. Don't eat nitrates. That's carcinogenic. Rosemary, such a great herb. Uh, it's it has it's a superfood. It has beneficials. I mean, you should also not get dried food. But under my circumstances, one day, one day, you should, we should ne you should never say one day either. You should live now, and I should be growing herbs in pots and uh, taking the fresh herbs off of them and putting them in my dinner and meal and I'm just doing the best I can in the situation that I'm in. And you can still you can still buy whole foods from the dollar store. You can buy that are organic even, which I support that. And that's a holiday treat. Normally that's out of my budget and it's from the dollar store. And then no-name generic brand herbs, which are just, it's just one thing, and it's dried. And pioneers, obviously, I live like a pioneer. They used to, they used to dry herbs and, 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 and eat them later, so. And then, speaking of pioneers, Oh, and the dollar store, because that is where I got these. I got these little cube dice things, which I think you're supposed to turn them into dice and make your own dice with them, but they're just beautiful wooden cubes to me. Cool. And then there are these, these things on my shelf that are sitting here, and I often wonder that people might might think that there's something that they're not. These are, I did get these at the dollar store. These are, and also very Christmassy, also very pioneer, also very um, worldly. They're unpainted Matryoshka dolls. Again, I think it's supposed to be a craft project. I think that would ruin it. I don't think there's anything you could put on here that would make it better. You know what, I could decoupage old newspapers maybe but, but why would I want to why would I want to take away from perfection so cool even where they like did some wood fill or something looks fantastic to me so I have I have th I bought three of them because three is a good thing oh yeah we did a, we did a little decorating tip video was that yesterday day before I think it was it was yesterday tip Tuesday yeah uh, by things things and threes are really good in decorating unless you're like doing end tables or side tables then you should do them in groups of two but things on on the shelf 
look good in odd numbers. Yeah. So this see this is an example of three and one. And then oh I wanted to show you all this stuff, even though we got some dust going on here. I've shown this stuff before. The bells. The bell collection. Can I do this? So soothing, so funny. I just heard John Tesh talk about Mary Kondo chiming something before she changes her tasks. She goes into modes. So she'll do a work mode and then she'll make a certain sound or there might be a certain essential oil you could use to change which mode you go into before you do something so you can break up your day and you can know now it's work time. Now it's clean time. Well, is work clean? Now it's now it's relax time. I don't know what what else do people do. I only I only work and relax. You wouldn't think that though, would you? Full time job doing nothing. That's, that's how it is. Oh, where are we gonna put these blocks? Let's take those over to the shelf. I didn't realize how long I would have. I think that. Uh, the stupid podcast is going to start by itself. Oh, yeah, well, here's... I kind of... I didn't know where to put those clothespins that we got yesterday. They don't really fit in. But I'll put these on the top shelf. Oh! Was that a mushroom? Oh! One of the mushrooms fell. We're kind of out of room. We still have 13 other little things to put on. I think these things I do... Well, I will, I don't know. I don't think anybody would care about this stuff, but at least you can listen to some strange man talk about his collection of wooden, little wooden things that have absolutely no purpose. But I guess they wouldn't take up too much space. I'm just gonna throw them in a box and then, but I am playing with them, so it's really great that I did take the time this year to, like, enjoy them, because they were just in a box. Some of them were new in bags, but I took them out of their bags and emptied them. Okay, I can put those on the top shelf there. I think these are the biggest things that we will be getting. I don't know what I'm going to do with all the other stuff that's that's coming but yeah I don't know how I would set this stuff up as a nice display and see this is this is what I can spend hours doing just figuring out the placement of something the woods a little darker talked about that yesterday no it still looks good yeah set that all up made everything look nice I did want to take these pots away. This area right here, because I added the pots, I had added the pots like this. And then it started to make everything straight across. And I didn't I didn't like that. I wanted some variation. So then I took those away, but then I didn't really have a place for to put those right now. So then I staggered them a little bit. So we do one and three and two. And then we make sure that they're not going in order. Maybe you want to start with two and end with one. But I think that three in the middle, the highest one in the middle is a good thing to do. Kind of liked it the other way. Even though I want to take those away completely and put them somewhere. But there, and then I put the other ones there that I had for no reason. There's, there's no reason but joy. Right here, right here we have um, the an advent calendar I just made. This, well, no, it's not an advent calendar. I hope I didn't say that in the video. It is a nativity scene, and I am I love these cute little toys, and also I like that I put the baby Jesus on Castle Grayskull's front door. So hopefully somebody t picks him up and takes care of him, because these guys can't. They're um, I don't I don't I don't agree with any of their beliefs at all. 
think we might talk about that tomorrow. Maybe I'll do, there's so many controversial topics that uh, make people unfollow me, which probably will happen again. But I don't like what's going on over where this took place. And uh, I don't agree with any of the things that these people agree with. I think I agree with the stuff that he grew up to believe in, though. He sounded pretty, pretty cool. Like, he liked to build things. And uh, he seemed to, like, want to go around and do good things. And he probably wasn't that religious. Probably just did good things, opposed to all of the bad things that the rest of these people seem to do. She's the only one that we can really blame. Oh, also, this is something that I didn't want to say in the review video, but I can say it here. This is either a really unattractive lady or a really cute boy. What, what do you think? Boy or girl? Or maybe this is a real... I also... Yeah. Oh, no, it's going to play the song. I also said something, I did say something inappropriate in the video. I said lots of inappropriate stuff in the video. I thought that they might be trying to be woke and make this a girl. It's either a young king or... Because the other kings have beards. So I don't... Maybe he, that guy just can't grow a beard because he's like like a pure African breed of, of human who, you know, just some people have less hair than other people and these guys have beards i do like that they made all of their skin dark that's realistic because usually they have some blonde angel so it's good that they they made the angel uh non-binary which i don't have a problem with non-binary i think that's wonderful like like i said the best thing i've ever heard was that two-spirited people which i still have to look into uh from native cultures uh, that it's celebrated and that it's a wonderful thing when people have uh, their masculine with feminine characteristics or feminine with masculine character. That's that's kind of incredible. That uh, you're because you are special and you should celebrate both parts is what I think. And uh, I'm sorry that I'm anti-medicinal and anti-operational, anti-hospital. We talked about a lot, a lot of stuff. Wacky, wacky Wednesday, wild card Wednesday. I do have to put some groceries away. I, uh, I do have to. Oh, I could put the baby Jesus in the dinosaur's mouth. That will be, that will be a fun Instagram picture. That'll get me some unfollows. Basically, that's what I'm doing now with my YouTube career. Uh, it's the numbers just go down, and less and less likes the money was going up and up and up on the toy channel but then it started to go down again maybe it's because i messaged youtube and said why is my money going down um can you fix it i was like um ever since my my ever ever since my channel was accidentally deleted um my money has been cut in to a third and uh, is there any and they were like i don't know who i don't know who was on the opposite end of the messaging service that they offer but uh, they were like they had yeah i don't they they didn't either didn't know what they were talking about or they were like go f yourself and uh and 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 maybe and now and now my money is going down again it was going up 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 i do have to go in like i said and add more ads to my videos this isn't monetized yet oh that's why i want to make this video as long as possible because five of you will watch it to the end also it it really helps me to talk about these things i can't get over how much these hats mean to me. I'm so excited to get the other. What do we got? We got one, two, three, four, and then I have an extra one. So there's two more hats. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get it on Christmas Day. We got to put Minnie away. We have to put a lot of stuff away. It's actually pretty good in here under the circumstances because I did such a thorough cleaning, and I want to do so. My like I said and. And even I, I do want to I am going to quit YouTube but it seems like I'm not gonna quit it 
because I got all these things that I want to sort out and do. So it seems that I'm just going to uh, like make videos of sorting and cleaning and uh, kill two birds with one stone because I want to do my collection videos before I sell the toys. I guess the, 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 the selling, which is my number one priority, has been put... I mean, I'm still, I sold one of my, I sold a very expensive toy yesterday, so I have to pack that up. I think I already said that to you, which is great. There's, I still have hundreds of toys listed, but maybe there's not, maybe there's only a hundred and some toys listed right now. So I can put uh, 250 toys on a month without paying extra for it. So I have to at least do that. And maybe I will today, but I am going to spend time wrapping up the parcel as soon as possible. I'm also going to make food. I also have to exercise today. I should write this stuff down. Ex writing this stuff down before you go to bed. Another John Tesh uh, from the radio show that I heard. If you write everything down, you can... I don't have any problem sleeping, though. So that's, that's the... That's, as soon as I lay down, I can go to sleep. Yesterday, I was like... I should have been tired. Oh, can I finish what I was saying? What was I saying? Um, oh yeah, write everything. Get everything out of your brain so that you don't um, you don't have to worry about it. But then I, I, I have stopped myself saying that because that's not one of the problems that I... As soon as I... As soon, usually as soon as I sit down, I will fall asleep. I'm... That's what's really good about me. Despite how lazy I tell myself that I am and um, a select few don't. If you're one of those horrible people, can you not? If you're saying horrible things to me in my comment section, can you not say horrible things to other people though? Just leave it to just leave your nasty comments to me. I don't mind, but they might mind. That's it's not it's it's none of your business what anybody else thinks. It's none of your business really what I think. But that's where I kind of have to draw the line. I don't want to ban people from my uh, my YouTube channel or anything. I, I, like I say, I welcome, I love, I love the negative comments. Maybe if I hear something that's nasty enough, but don't attack like people who are just being nice. I, I know, I know that people, people who, the f five people in the world who like me, who, who think that I'm interesting, I know that, I know that they're, I know that they have to have, the, the, I know that they're weird too, you don't have to be mean to them kind of choosing my words carefully come on though be honest with yourself who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna find me interesting and like me wasn't I when wasn't I talking about something about how how I'm being uh, before I got onto that stint about being pr proud of myself or something or happy or something or I talk about being happy enough. Maybe maybe I talk about being happy way too much, and maybe that means that I I'm not happy. But I tell I am I'm happy for a different reason. Okay, I got to take this video back on track. It's come. It's turning into some kind of uh, what else can I say? I'm cleaning. This goes in the garbage. Here, come with me. Maybe we'll. Oh, there is something in the bathroom that I wanted to talk about. I do, I need to scrub my bath. When I get cranky, that's when I should scrub. That's also something that I learned on the John Tesh radio show. Is when you are cranky, when you're cranky, you should do like vigorous cleaning. It looks pretty shiny clean. I did scrub the ceiling. It's, it's hard to, 
It's, it's hard to keep that thing. There's no air vent in here that I'm sure that doesn't have I do. I have been, I haven't been keeping the window open, but I recently have been keeping the window open. So that's good. The shower head, that's what I want to talk about. It, the first night, especially, it felt like, it felt like I was in a hotel. I am so happy. That was a definitely a good purchase. Uh, yeah, the, the settings are great. I forgot because I haven't had settings on my shower head for a while after the last one broke. It was something that I've always had, but why? Oh, because I wanted to get one that was under $20. And at the time, usually I could, but I guess after inflation, I couldn't find anything. And Canada. What's up with Canada? I couldn't find a shower head that was... Oh, I should start my kettle too. Just uh, wait. I gotta feel how warm that is. I only had one one glass of water today. So I want to I wanna do that. That's gonna make noise. And I didn't... Did, oh no, I shaved yesterday. That was good. I hate shaving. That is something that I'm going to stop shaving. And stop. that's going to save me up so much time. I'm going to turn on these Christmas lights. I'm going to blast up these Christmas lights now. And it's, it's starting to get dark. So, and I'm... And I'm turning up the lights right now for more cleaning and because I'm about to do some pull-ups in the window. So, you know, I don't want anybody watching me exercise. That's something strange about me too. I never ever felt comfortable going to a gym and exercising. I mean, I did use the gym in hotels before when they would when I knew they would have a pull-up bar and I remember going to the gym once with a girl I did photo shoots in gyms many times but I remember going to a gym actually with a girlfriend who wanted to work out but it wasn't it wasn't something that I mean I only did it at home and I I didn't like I don't I've never lifted weights before in my life but I, I did calisthenics at the gym while she was using the weights or whatever she did. I don't know. I don't even, I don't even remember the, the, I just know that that happened. I don't remember the actual scenario. I don't remember anything anymore. And John Tesh, luckily on that radio show, again, he talks a lot about how to avoid Alzheimer's. And my uh, grandmother had, had that. So I, I and my, the way that my brain works and the way that I see that my mother's brain works, like I'm, I'm in trouble. So I do like all of the techniques and one of the best techniques and one of the best things that you can do for yourself is to walk. I don't do a lot of walking. I do a lot of biking. We will be doing a lot of walking if it ever snows. I'll have to walk to the post office. Let's get back to my list. Oh, maybe that's what I was doing. So we're gonna exercise. We're gonna make some food. I guess I am gonna roast the, I have canned corn kernels. So I'll be putting some corn with some potatoes and I'll cook those up. And then I think I have some, I think I'm gonna have some meat today. I feel bad about it. Some, I have some turkey and I do have some beef in a can. So maybe I'll have that with that and then I'll have lots of oatmeal oh bagels yesterday I ate 12 bagels I felt not good afterwards I thought maybe I had COVID I was getting a headache that usually the only time I get a headache never took an aspirin in my life I think my mother might have given me out baby aspirins when I was a kid but besides that I I have never bought an aspirin or taken an aspirin or Tylenol no drugs not even a coffee that's my stance on that I never I don't think I said that in the video my stance on uh, sex change operations and stuff if I don't believe in getting a tattoo even how why would I believe in cutting off a part of your body and if I don't believe in taking a Tylenol why would I believe in taking a some a hormone replacement that will change your your body yeah i i just that's it's 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 again it's not against 
it's it's against it's a against let's let's talk about it's a it's against giving what god gave you and i use the term god extremely loosely the, that mother nature gave you i believe in mother do i believe in mother nature you know what i don't believe in anything which makes that's what that's what makes living in the world me living in this world so hard oh wow you would think at the end of the video for me to get so deep this is like a main topic when 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 you get to the point where you where you know that this is when you know when you I'll say believe when you believe I know but most people believe believe that this is all by chance and it's just something miraculous and it's just rock turned into living being which turned into whatever we're doing now and now we make computers and shit it's unbelievable and this is also why i don't believe in aliens as well people's argument is that the the, the universe is infinite so of course that there's other life but my argument kind of is exactly the same thing it is so 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 strange what happened here on this rock floating in blackness that it could never happen again and if you think about this <laughs> taxes and jobs in houses and toy no to i can't say it about toys toys are really important really important to me i mean if there weren't toys for me to collect i would be out there finding little twigs that look like shapes and putting them on shelves or propping them up on rocks in a certain way and just putting them and and just collecting collecting things and putting them together in, in putting putting them to things that i love i would put together in strange formations and just to feel them and touch them and be with them and enjoy them and like that's why that's why me saying that i'm happy is different than the other people who say that they're happy are happy oh i let the kettle go way too long it's going to be too hot for me to drink so now i have to wait for the, the cool down I'm not covering I'm not covering up my happiness. I'm explaining <laughs> I'm explaining my shortcomings. I don't like that sometimes I look like Gollum. There's uh, also there's this guy. There's this guy who's I want I want to I don't I kind of want to reach out to him. He well, I don't know if I ever I possibly could, but maybe if I make one dedicated video, like really being nasty, which is something that I never do about this person. He is I don't know what his name is because I don't remember names, but he's this guy. He's I think he's forty six. He look the thing is he's he's like he thinks that he's looking really young and he's stopping the aging process and everything. But he looks worse than I do, and I've got a good five years on him. So, I just, I wish that I had his money. I, there's certain things that he's doing, like he, I saw uh, the last short that showed up in, on my YouTube feed was that he was injecting fat into his face because he does have a really low body fat percentage because of the amount of food that he eats and then he's got all these trainers and he's doing all these health things and he has, wears sun lights that do things for his skin and stuff there are certain things that i want to do like i do want to i would like a good exfoliation but i wouldn't be injecting fat into my face to replace the fat that i've taken away i do want to remove i would like to i would like to not eat 12 bagels i would like to stop that it's it real with me which this is the bad part because i i hate doing this it, it all does come down to financial stuff I do just I just want to eat blueberries and all the superfoods and that's something that I heard him say is that 
I'll give you. I'll 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 learn his name soon because I'm probably gonna watch some of his, his videos. Anyway, there's something wrong with him mentally, like more wrong than what is wrong with me mentally, because he's so concerned with aging. He's like he's doing it as a study so he can live till he's 120. But I think I'm gonna live till I'm 120 anyway. And I I think I come from a better place of of that happening because of like he I don't know up to some point in his life he stopped doing all of the things that you know society does like taking your drugs and drinking alcohol I've never done any of that stuff which would explain why I am in as good health as I am but you can see, you can see oh and that's something else that I wanted to talk about I want to talk about the Barbie movie when I watched it all I could think about is how like Ken was kind of fat and so is Simu or whatever his name is I thought they looked fat and is that I usually don't judge other people but I thought that they looked fat and that makes me a bad person oh that was what I was gonna include this I think I'm start in my book I think I started a list of the things that actually make me a bad person so if I th I mean the, the whole the, po the point of me calling them out I guess is that they were supposed to be perfect Ken dolls but I thought that they they I thought that they had fat bellies I mean, I know that the majority of the rest of the population has uh, um, a way higher fat percentage. Th yeah, see, I'm not a good person. I think we've. I, I think that's a good place to end this. Is that I'm not. A, I'm not so great, and I, I. I am very judgmental, and i'm 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 sorry if I just called you fat because you're fat, you're fatter than Ryan Reynolds, which mo probably ninety percent of the population is and I think that I'm younger than that forty six year old man who thinks that he looks really young but he, he he looks really he looks really scary to tell you the truth oh and I I think this was I think this was the whole point of me bringing it up is that I never want to look like that uh, there's a there's a certain look to people who who take care of themselves or who I don't know men who maybe their eyebrows are too plucked maybe it's plastic surgery maybe it's the maybe it's Maybe it's the super grooming. Maybe it's their. Maybe their hair's too neat. Like I mean, I, I don't want to ever look like that. Like maybe it's good that my hair is kind of shaggy. Oh, and then I have to. I have to talk about my hair. I do. I don't keep. I don't keep coconut oil in my hair all the time, and there's none in it right now. Uh. And I do strip it, vinegar and bake. And I, the only time I do wash my hair with something is with baking soda and vinegar. And it does totally strip the hair. Both, both vinegar and baking soda will totally st strip your hair, totally clean. And my hair is the best it has ever been. So the coconut oil is definitely good. My hair is always dry. And when I don't, when I don't, when I don't wash my hair or do anything to it. It doesn't like I've I have not put anything in my hair maybe I would put a product in my hair to style it if I was going somewhere or doing something but for the for 50 years of my life I didn't well for 48 years of my life I don't know I didn't do anything or put anything in in my hair at all and I've discovered recently and the coconut oil is really working for me because even on the off days it uh, I mean it looks it looks pretty bad which is makes me think of that guy because his hair always looks bad he had hair plugs though the operation thing I want to slow down my aging before the operation stuff though so I want some of the money this skin thing that's happening right now oh that just makes me look like I'm not fat 
And I, that's like when they show you that they have 0% body fat. That's kind of what I want my belly to look like, though, when I squeeze it, which we can't do that right now. I know. I know I shouldn't talk about stuff like this. And I have such a fat head that I really don't have to worry about getting too gaunt. So that's good. It's good that, that my face is the last thing to lose fat. And my butt is the last thing to lose fat. Even my belly loses fat before. Look, look how fat I am. Mm. All right. So we, we covered conceitedness. We covered me wasting my life and time, but also being happy. We covered, we got silly. Uh, we weren't too cranky because we had five hours sleep instead of two. We uh, want to go for, because that's, that's the one thing. The one thing that I do miss out on is uh, the amount of sleep that I get. And um, I don't get me wrong. I love sleeping and I would do it. And I, I don't wake with an alarm clock. I let nature take its place. I let disturbances actually take their place. So that, uh, that part is perfect. Nothing matters because that goes, it goes on forever out there. And what makes up this goes on forever. Something makes up that, something that makes up that makes up that, something that makes up that, that's infinite too. People don't talk about that. The cell walls are made up by something, but they are made up with something that also have walls. And that's made up with something. And that's made up with something. And the fact that nobody talks about that, that goes on forever too. And I don't think, I don't, I don't, I don't, nobody, yeah, why don't the scientists stop to think about that? <clears throat> they, they can't see it. They talk about the, they talk about the cell walls becoming energy at one point, uh, but, but, it's made up of something. Everything has a wall. Everything is has a structure that it's made up of something and something makes up that structure and something makes up that structure and something makes up that. It doesn't matter. None of this shit matters. That's why, like, how, how can I be anything but homeless when there's like, really? And then with all of this, there's no time travel, so I can't win the fucking lottery. I'm just, that's, that's so, that, that is in the, that's the only thing I would do. If I could travel in time, I would go back and get some, I would go get it back and get some numbers. And I wouldn't even be greedy about it. I don't even need that much money. A million, a million, a million. Yeah, you know what? I think I did the math, and a million is only two thousand dollars a m is only two thousand dollars a month until I die. Maybe, I, hopefully, I did the math wrong on that. Because that's a, that's enough for me. I can I can I could do two thousand dollars a month for life, and I and that is exactly what I would do if I had a million. And then sometimes I think about. I only play the lottery if it's 50 million because what's the point other than that? But then I think that's all that's spending a million dollars every year. And I'm like, is that enough? Could, could I get by in a million dollars? Of course I could get by in a million dollars a year. Split that into, I wouldn't know what to do with a hundred thousand dollars a year. And that's what a normal person makes. Apparently, according to anybody who has a house has to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Uh, inflation? Uh, I, I don't know. Hopefully I did the math wrong on that million. Not that I could get a million. I just have to go back in time, get the lottery numbers, and it's time to exercise. And maybe the, may, the, the, the thing that I was waiting for to play, maybe it didn't play automatically, but at least I got my stuff done. I've, I've talked way too much. There was a point where I actually looked good in this lighting and now I look bad. And, and here's something I bought at the dollar store. 
Here's another toy I have that is a racing car and it also works as a bubble wand, believe it or not. Mysteries. Why is my hair so... Uh, I don't... I, Oh yeah, I'm just le I'm letting it all go. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing that I started to talk about. So the best part about stopping YouTube is that I don't I don't have to look I don't have to worry about looking like a homeless old man anymore. Cause who's gonna uh, somebody might watch a clean cut guy do videos. Nobody's gonna watch somebody who who's homeless who actually looks homeless. I mean, actually, they might watch that, but I have to wait until I'm actually homeless and not just look homeless. But I think I'm not. It's going to save me so much time if I don't have to shave every day. And it's just, it's going to make me look so gray and so much older. And I. Because I'm not. Because I'm not. Because I don't look like a kindergarten. Because I don't look like a kid or a kindergarten teacher. Um, I shouldn't be reviewing toys unless I look like an old haggard disaster and I review uh, just action figures, like superhero action figures, because and and and, and I was gonna say get really fat and and talk about action figures. It's a cliche, and I I probably now I now I lost now I lost anybody else who's. Clichés are real though. Guys, okay, this is just this is just turning manic now. Let's end it while it's bad and not absolutely a disastrous tomorrow slot Thursday. We'll say we'll save we'll save the real breakdowns of disaster for then. I love you. I can't believe you watched this whole thing. You're as mad and as crazy as I am, which we're not. We're real. We are real. We're the real people. Because well, there's no point. What's the point? That goes on forever. This goes on forever. Let's not make this go on forever.